Have you ever had trouble backing out in a busy parking lot because your view is blocked by vehicles on either side of you? It happens to me all the time. So let's take a look at how to safely back out in that situation. Let's look at some of the basics of backing out of a parking space. And we're going to be doing this first in a safe area without other cars. In this case, a nearly empty parking lot. If you're just learning this skill, Find a place like this to practice before you actually go out and try it between other vehicles. I set out cones to mark the width of the parking space and to use as a guide to know if I was staying between the lines as I backed. You can also use boxes or something else to do the same thing when you practice this, or you can just check your mirrors or look out your window to see how you're doing. Before you start to back out, always put on your seat belt. Don't wait to do that until after you've already backed out. Make sure your mirrors are properly adjusted because they are an important tool to use in any backing maneuver. Before starting to back, always look 360 degrees all around you for other vehicles, obstructions, and pedestrians. And make sure the area is clear for you to safely back up. Look over your left shoulder and to the left side. Check your left mirror. Check the area in front of you, your rear view mirror, the right mirror, the right side. Look over your right shoulder and look straight back if you have a rear window. Especially for new drivers, it can understandably be a little confusing about which way you turn your steering wheel to back out. And here's how that works. If you're going to back out and then want to drive away to your right, then the rear end of your vehicle is going to be moving to the left as you back out. That means you'll need to put on your left turn signal and you will also be turning your steering wheel to the left. Which signal you turn on and which way you turn your steering wheel will match up with the direction the rear of your car will be moving in as you back up. And yes, you should use your signals when backing out of a parking spot. The flashing light will help get other drivers' attention, which is safer for you and them, and it lets others know which way the rear end of your vehicle will be turning as you're backing out of your spot. Along those same lines, if you're going to back out and then want to drive away to your left, then the rear of your vehicle is going to be moving to the right as you back out. So you would put on your right turn signal and you will also be turning your steering wheel to the right as you back up. And now you know everything you need to know so you can begin backing up. Well, not quite yet. It's important that you also back up slowly and carefully. To help with that, don't use the accelerator to back out of your parking space. Let the engine idle you back if it can. Instead of having your foot on the accelerator as you back, place your foot on the brake and keep it there the whole time you're backing. Press and release the brake as needed to regulate your backing speed. This allows you more control as you're reversing. If you're backing out and another vehicle comes down the parking row, you want to be able to stop quickly to avoid an accident and let them go by. If you're backing up an incline, then you might have to use the accelerator. But use it very carefully to keep your speed slow so you can still maintain control. With that in mind, now you're ready to back up. So do that complete visual check around your vehicle, put your foot on the brake pedal, put your vehicle in reverse, and begin backing. And if you have a backup camera, by all means use it. But don't rely solely on it while backing, because you still need to look all around you for other cars, obstructions, and pedestrians. A backup camera can show you a lot, but it can't show you everything that might be happening around you. And unless the feature has been disabled, they even normally have warnings on their screen cautioning you to check your surroundings for safety. Also be aware that depending on the state you live in or the driving examiner you have, you may not be allowed to use a backup camera during a driving exam. If it is allowed, you cannot use it as your main reference for backing, but only as an additional way to check your surroundings, much like you would use a mirror. As you're backing, you want to keep your vehicle between the two lines of your parking space, at least until the front of your vehicle is clear of the bumpers of the vehicles on either side of you, or as in this case, clear of the cones. Steer your car straight back between the parking lines. If there are no vehicles parked close behind you on the opposite side of the parking row, you can keep the steering wheel straight the whole time as you back until you're clear of the other vehicles parked beside you. Once the front of your vehicle is clear of the bumpers of the vehicles on either side of you, turn your steering wheel all the way as far as it will go to get yourself turned in the correct direction. Then turn the wheel back to center and drive off. If there are vehicles parked close behind you, you probably won't be able to back straight out all the way and then turn. In a situation like this, you'll need to make a tighter turn. When you get about a third of the way out of the parking spot, you start turning your steering wheel gradually in the proper direction to get your vehicle turning. This is how it looks when leaving to the right. Starting your turn sooner will help you avoid other vehicles parked behind you, but only turn slightly as you back up so that you can still stay within the lines of your parking space until the front of your vehicle is past the bumpers of the vehicles parked beside you. 
The main bumper to look out for is the one that gets closer to the front of your vehicle as you turn. The one on the same side as the direction you'll be driving off in. If you're driving off to the right, you'll have to clear the bumper of the vehicle on your right before you can fully turn your steering wheel all the way to complete your turn. When it looks like the front corner of your car is slightly past that bumper and roughly lined up with the corner of that bumper, then it's safe for you to turn your steering wheel all the way and complete your turn out of the parking space. This is how that would all look when leaving to the left. Everything is the same, only the car is swinging out slightly to the left as I back up. Until I get past the cone, when I can turn my steering wheel all the way to the right to leave the parking spot and get turned to leave. If driving off to the left, then it's the bumper of the car on your left that you'll have to clear. When it looks like the front corner of your car is slightly past that bumper and roughly lined up with the corner of that bumper, then it's safe for you to turn your steering wheel all the way and complete your turn out of the parking space. There are normally two types of parking stalls that you'll be dealing with. One is straight, and you have to turn a full 90 degrees to enter or leave it. The other is angled, typically at 45 or 60 degrees, requiring you to make less of a turn to enter or leave it. The parking spots in this lot are straight, and the lane between the rows is narrow. There were other vehicles parked right behind me, so I had to start turning slightly while I was still between the lines in order to be able to make my turn. Depending on the size of what you're driving, sometimes you might even have to back up out of a spot like this as far as you can, then pull forward a little, and then back up again with your steering wheel fully turned in order to be able to avoid the cars parked behind you. The parking spots in this lot are angled and the lane is wide, so I could back out of my space before turning my steering wheel to the right, making it much simpler to back out and avoid other parked vehicles around me. Different parking lot setups can require you to adjust how you back up in order to suit your situation. In a busy parking lot, there can be a lot happening around you. So it's a must that you completely look all around before backing. If you normally have your radio or other device on to listen to something while you drive, it's a good idea to turn that down or even off. And that's just in case you start to back out and someone is coming down the parking road that you can't see and then they honk to let you know that they're approaching. If you hear a honk, stop and wait until you see the other vehicle go by and then proceed with your backing maneuver. If your radio is loud, you might not be able to hear that honk. Some other things to watch out for in a busy parking lot are pedestrians walking behind you or even beside you between the cars. As you start to back and pull further out, you may notice that someone else is already backing up beside or behind you, and you need to stop and wait on them. There may be other drivers already coming down the lane between the rows, having left their spots or looking for one, and they have the right of way because they're already in the traffic lane and you must yield to them. But in all these and any other backing situation, just take your time. Back up slowly with your foot on the brake, keep scanning the area as you back up, and you'll be all right. If you have any comments or tips about how to back up out of a parking space, please leave those in the comment section below. I'd like to hear from you. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and drive safe.